All right, so in this step, I'm gonna show you how to add and remove tools from your AI employee. So if we wanna add a booking stage to a, um, or a booking tool to a stage, we can go in here and just click on, so in here you see your stage information, you can minimize that, it's all kind of an accordion, you can trigger uh, CRM actions in here, do everything there, or you can go down here to available tools. These are AI specific tools. So we're gonna do a calendar booking here. So in here, you can choose a calendar. I don't have one in there. You can then say, don't ask for company when booking. So if you're a business that works with a person instead of companies, you wanna check this so that it doesn't ask on the booking what company they're with. So in this use case, the um, uh, food truck, we can then put in there to not ask about the uh, company because in this case, we wanna book a time to pick up their food, in which case we don't ask what company they're with. Show time zones on proposed meetings. You can do that or not. Depends on how you want to do it, whether you're working locally or in different time zones. Proposing random times. So if this is checked, it's going to go for like the next three days and it's going to give a day here, a day here, a day here, a time on this day, a time on that day, a time on the other day. Uh, usually you just want to go ahead and leave this off. So it's going to give you the three most uh, recent times or the most uh, the close to the time of booking that it can do. And then we can allow this to book in any stage. In this case, I don't want to because we only want to do that after they've purchased. So then you would add that there. And if you want to remove a tool, so because I don't have a booking link in this uh, demo account, it's not going to let me add that. But let's do this here. In this stage, I put schedule a follow-up. So this is another tool that we can do where if the, like in this uh, scenario, this is going to wait a certain amount of time to follow up to, and we put that in our prompt of how long we want to have it follow up to ask about how the food was and then get a review. But let's say I wanna remove that tool. All I have to do is click on the available tools, click the X and it's gone. So you can do this with human rollover. So if the AI doesn't understand, or maybe you know that there's a stage where it has to get to that point and then you want it to roll over. So maybe you want it to be a warm lead. They're having a conversation with the AI and you want it to transfer to a human as soon as they get to this stage, you can put a human role in, over in there. Custom AI function in here, you can pull specific data from the um, conversation and turn it into a variable to use in automations, put it in our custom LLM tool and manipulate it to then send like an email or a specific text message, however you want that to work. Maybe you're pulling data out of another system and you have to do an API call to that system and you're looking for specific data to, to verify someone, you can do that. Collecting data, you can put a form in here. So you can put in a form that you want. So let's do a name collect here. And what that has is first name, last name. So then we can pull that. You can edit these forms so that you can add more fields. In here, you can do job title, company, street, address, email, phone number, website. You can put a number, text, or a multiple choice multiple choice kind of thing. You can change in here what the answer is, the responses, all of these things you can do in this part of the um, AI tools.